What I didn't expect, though, was to wake to the resounding howl that echoed through the house. I sat up suddenly, and, uh, uh, action music started playing. I forgot this game had other songs. Uh, wondering if I just imagined it. My heart was beating rapidly in my chest and breathed out. I breathed out, shaking my head. Sal was in the middle of, uh, of sitting up as well, giving me a confused look. Did that wake you up as well? Something did, but what was it? There was the howl again, and I leapt out of bed. Dave, wait. But my feet were already moving, pants only half on and hopping towards the door to put them on so I could leave at the first possible <laughs> I just... <laughs> I was already rushing out the door, pulling up my pants. That's just... That's the faster way of saying that. That isn't increasingly yes. <laughs> confusing as the sentence stretches on. My, my pants were half on, so I rushed to the door to pull my pants on. <laughs> To pull on the pants so I could leave the door as soon as possible. As soon as, first, as soon as I could get my pants on, I could then go out the door. <laughs> when I got downstairs, I was immediately greeted with two things I didn't expect. Uh huh? Roswell? Thanatos? What's going on? I. um. You missed it, Junior. I wasn't kidding when I said there was a password and you missed it. Yeah, we know from the fact that there was a password and we didn't yeah. we didn't do it. We didn't do it, Thanatos. You heard the howl, right? Yeah. That's why I'm down here. Did it wake you up as well? <laughs> Stop asking everyone that. <laughs> it's not important. No, I was awake already, but uh there's only one of us that'd be howling, right? My heart sank and I breathed out his name as my feet started speeding me towards the back door. Tyson? It was dark. Even the night sky had some amount of cloud cover to veil the moon from lighting up the backyard. A hand quickly grabbed my wrist, stopping me from running off the moment after. Where are you going? Tyson, right? It's gotta be Tyson. But what's got you so panicked? What do you think has happened? What's going on? Yeah, someone able to explain why Tyson's howling? See? It's Tyson. If Haas knows it's Ty, why wouldn't I know? What, what the f- <laughs> What? <laughs> And what do you think you're gonna do? Go running off into the forest again? You know what happened last time. He has a point, as blunt as he's making it. Is he really making it the point that bluntly? He's speaking pretty logically. Face it, Junior. He's already a goner. You're lying. Who's gone? Should I have left this talking rat inside? Yinking my arm from Roswell, I made to run before I froze up, uh, froze upon hearing Sal ask another question. Has anyone seen Orlando yet? I started down, I stared down yeah, I stared down Thanatos, and all I got was the smug grin that we that he wore, arms thrown up in a shrug. I'm trying to remember, like, right, they don't have the vision, so he doesn't know that specifically Tyson is endangered by Orlando, or, or, or Tyson's going to be attacking Orlando, so they don't actually know what's happening, I think. Whoops. Tyson, Orlando, where are you? Deep down, I knew running into the forest was a bad idea, but the alternative was worse. Tyson couldn't be dead. Orlando couldn't be dead. It was just a cruel prank by Thanatos. I kept repeating the sentiment over and over and as I rushed through the trees. They couldn't have gotten far. 
and I could still see the light from the house, the shadows cast by my friends moving about, searching themselves for me, or either of the two, at least based on the names being called. <laughs> A weird. All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> sometimes Dean is. Sometimes Dave is written like somebody who uh, has the the disorder from the movie Memento, and he has yep. to like mid scene interpret what's happening in the scene, even though he's the agent of the scene and doing the thing in the first place. He then has to reinterpret the events because like he's like, oh right, I'm chasing someone. No, I'm yeah. running from them. Like, that scene, like, is happening yeah. in real time. I'm like, what? I picked up the scent of blood suddenly. It was strong. Either close or a lot of it. I didn't know. But it rooted me to the spot. Smelling blood was never a good sign. And in the dark, I waited and listened. Why did you have to specify that blood is bad? I just... <laughs> I know. That's... that's you could, Okay. Huddling close to a tree, I looked around, hoping to see something. Anything that could explain what I was smelling, but I heard it first. Another long howl. Just, I'm just, my brain, my brain is just in editing mode, just taking over. I'm just like, right, it's like I, I smelled blood and was rooted to the spot in my, in terror. And then I heard it. Another loud howl is like how you get the same idea across without losing anything in like one tenth of the words and not explaining emotions in in scary situations like Dora the Explorer is experiencing them for the first time. Another loud howl, but with my nose honed into the smell of blood, all my senses were on fire. I knew where the howl was coming from, but I trembled knowing all too well that's where the smell of blood was the strongest. Dave, where are you? I'm back. Can you hear us? Dave. They're all very hard voices to yell as. <laughs> yeah. I could hear them. But I couldn't reply. There was a lump in my throat from what I'd seen. I was standing there, stunned in a clearing, what remained of Orlando strewn about messily, to the extent of being unbelievable. What? what? Okay. <laughs> but there, standing wild opposite me. Tyson? His head snapped up to look at me the moment I spoke his name. Eyes wild. He didn't move and neither did I. But the smell of blood was suffocating. And it took all I had not to throw up then and there. He took a step forward, eyes seemingly focused on me gradually. What? Eyes dipping to Orlando's body next to me briefly before turning back to me. The growl made me flinch, but he shook his head quickly, trying to shake whatever was ailing him off. Ty? What have you done? Dave? Right between the eyes. It happened in slow motion. My fur standing on end the moment I'd heard the gunshot. Tyson's eyes rolled back, the force of the bullet toppling him over, then him collapsing on his back on the ground. I shrieked when Benson touched my shoulder and started to hyperventilate. Orlando was dead. Tyson was now dead too. I stepped forward and my foot was covered in blood. It was enough to make me fall to my knees and start to puke. Benson said nothing, tucking his gun away as I continued to dry heave from what I'd just experienced in front of me. Can you stand? There was no answer I could give him. Not from how my body and mind were reacting. I crawled over blood and vomit towards Tyson's lifeless body, placing a hand on his chest. Hey. Nothing. He was gone. Ty. Wake up. Orlando's missing. Dave. I ignored him. Come on. I need your help. Wake up. I took his hand and pressed it against my face, closing my eyes tight, hoping this was just a nightmare. I'd wake up at my bed at home. Tyson would scold me for sleeping in when I got downstairs. I started to sob. 
not wanting to turn around either. If I didn't see Orlando's body on the ground, I could just imagine that it was something else. That he was safe and he'd be back. He'd bake me a delicious treat before saying I was being silly for worrying so much. The dam broke when I had a hand on my shoulder, and I wailed unrestrained into the night. The next thing I wrong knew, I was being guided back inside. Oh. Looking down to my hands, they were shaking, covered in blood and whatever else. My eyes found Thanatos standing in the middle of the floor, just before the stairs. Why? He shook his head, looking over to Benson. What happened out there? I turned my head slowly to Benson, and I could hear the hollow tone in my voice just from the first intake of air. Benson killed Tyson. The statement went, un went unopposed, and I could see Benson shifting uncomfortably on the spot. Benson killed my brother. Ah, this timeline. I, I only... He wouldn't have hurt me, but you shot him anyway. Murderer. <laughs> the words seemed to shake Benson somewhat, and he slowly made his way toward the basement. I warned you this would happen. You did? Them's the brakes, kid. Yeah. The rest of the group was behind me, in just as much shock as I was from what I could tell. But here I was starting to laugh. Yeah. Them's the brakes, huh? The laughing continued, growing louder, wilder, until my throat started to go sore. Then from there, until it devolved into uncontrollable sadness and I crumpled to the ground in tears once more. This, this isn't fair. This wasn't meant to be this way. What do you mean? It was meant to be me. I was meant to die first. This is just... This is just cruel. Wow, big big of you, Roswell, <laughs> to be defending Tyson here, saying that Tyson was meant to die... wasn't meant to die before you. <laughs> Through my tears, I could see Sal hugging Haas, both of, them, both of them crying in their own way. In their own way. Huh. Dean and Roswell seemed to still be in shock, but we're able to talk coherently. Made worse by Tyson also dying. He didn't even, because he only met, he only met Orlando. Gotcha. Murdered. He was murdered. Right. Murdered. I could hear the yelling from in here. Who knows who you attracted to the house with it? As they're, if they haven't been making a fuckload of noise the yeah, whole I'm time. Just, they're, they're, everyone they're, in they're this thinking and planning criminals. They're not everyone, and they know where the they, house is. Yeah, they know they're not wolves. You're not attracting to them. This place with like with noise, like the, the zombie apocalypse. It's just like like what? Jack knew where the house was the whole time. That was one of the first things he told us. I don't care. You should. Well, I don't. Okay. Go take a bath. Thanatos scurried off next, and it was Dean who helped me up. Let's get you cleaned off. I don't want to be cleaned off. I want Orlando. I want Ty. Dave. I want... I want... I want semi-limp in Dean's grip. <laughs> okay. As he tightened, I, I stood upright a little more. <laughs> I went flaccid in Dean's grip. <laughs> It's a rough. 
arms would 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 uh, idiot proof that sentence for people like me <laughs> in Dean's arms instead. Of... Come on. Taking me by the shoulder, he pushed me forward, leading me upstairs. They're... They're dead. He shucked my pants from me, leaving me in my underwear. I could feel his hand shaking as it, as it rested against my back. All the way until he pulled away once I was in front of the bathroom door. I didn't even bother disrobing further, just turned on the water and stepped in without registering it was meant to do anything else. Even as the water drowned out a lot of the noise, I could make out Dean making sounds in the room. Grieving, maybe. Hyperventilating. It was hard to say. When I stepped out, I wasn't dirty, although my, f my fur was still stained with blood. Dean held out a towel, and when I didn't take it, wrapped it around my shoulders. What do you need right now? Between space and company. Did it change? Space and company. Definitely not mutually exclusive things. My... My brain break? Yes, my brain broke. Okay, it's fine. Oop. No. Wait, dangerous button. I briefly thought that the color of the text changed, <laughs> like, for dialogue. I'm like, am I, having, <laughs> am I okay? I shied away from the question. If I acknowledged what had happened, then make it real. Oh, uh, well, I'll be back then. I need to. My hands. He showed me that they were stained as stained as mine after a wash, and I shut my eyes tight. A few steps were taken back, then I sighed, then a sigh, then he left the room. With the door ajar, I could hear H Haas yelling downstairs at Sal. I could hear Roswell trying to speak up, getting cut off. Dean, there was no reason to leave. The sink is right there. Like, like, you don't need to leave Dave alone to wash your hands. Someone coming upstairs, and then silence as those footsteps came to stop in my bedroom. You're going to be okay. Whining was the only thing I was capable of, and another towel was soon added to my shoulders. When I closed my eyes, when I opened my eyes, he was sitting on the floor opposite me, legs crossed. But you need to put something on or you're going to catch a cold. How can you be worried about that right now? After what just... what? It hasn't hit me just yet. After all, we had only Benson telling us what happened out there. It feels weird to have you explain that. <laughs> Nothing happened out there. My jaw was clenched and I went for the towels to hug them to me tighter. Just leave me alone. I can't do that. Why? Because if what I remember of last time, you just, um... I shot him a sour look, but it lasted all of a second before my eyes found the floor again. My face scrunched up. The tears started to fall all over again. I'd never seen Orlando again. I'd never see Tyson again. Roswell. I'm here. I don't want to be here anymore. We'll find a way out. I wonder how this I even, promise. I wonder how the stuff even turns out now. Given that they can't just call an ambulance like the other endings. No, I... I don't want to be here at all. Alive. Just... I give up. What? You can't mean that. Dad is dead, Tyson's dead, Orlando is dead. We're all gonna die. And I'm just gonna have to watch, aren't I? My mind went back to the vault, to Thanatos, to everything I had seen. I'd seen everything else, but not this. It was worse witnessing in person, but... Who else am I gonna see die next? 
in the vault or right in front of me. I, I just... The tears were still falling and that nausea was returning. Not that I had anything left to bring up. Wait here. <laughs> he got up quickly and shuffled away. Not that I bothered watching him leave. I half-heartedly started to dry off. I could hear footsteps again as I sat there in my thoughts. He's looking pretty miserable. Bro, I'm right here. Can you help him at all? Why did you bring Thanatos? I don't want to see him right now. You... what? His gaze went to the ceiling and he shook his head. I warned you. I warned you about this long before tonight. This was your fault. You could have just told me the password. And I told you that's not how this works. What was the password? It's too late to use it now anyway, right? Ask Junior what he saw and that should clear things up. That's not actually very clear because, because <laughs> Tyson do wasn't were literally a werewolf, but... Do, yeah, okay. like, do werewolves exist? How, do, how I mean, Maybe he was a werewolf, I don't know. How did he, like, split Roswell, uh, uh, Orlando into pieces or something? Like, what the fuck? How, how does he physically do that? Tyson, he... He was standing there with the moon, Orlando's body, blood. He looked wild, feral, but still my brother. A feral wild wolf under the full moon? But that... Not like Tyson. He would never kill Orlando. Blood speaks for itself. But... Nope. But, and I hate to ask, but Tyson wasn't, you know... Gay. <laughs> <laughs> you know. When no response came, Roswell audibly gulped and whispered a clarification. Homo. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm an idiot. A werewolf? So this is something that bugs me. This is something that bugs me. So I have people... no idea if werewolves exist, first of all. Is the so problem. first thing, first password. First password we get. Post bad end, all caps, denoted specifically. Second password, we have to find it in the text. Completely non-specific, related to trauma. Not that werewolf is really related to trauma. Not that we really even had the details. It was just a weird word that was said that stuck out to us. Okay. Same with massacre. Massacre was another one. Um, that was just like a weird word thrown in there. People were like, you guys can't even figure out the passwords and you're criticizing the game. You're so, you're so smart. You're, you're so, you're like, you, you guys think you're so smart, but you can't do it. And then again, the game just shifts its pattern another time, and in the bad end goes, is it possible the password, which was really arbitrary and isn't really distinctive, was this word? Again, after we were supposed to figure it out. The, all of our complaints were valid. Literally, the game can't decide how it wants to portray passwords to us. This is stupid. I've gotten mixed feelings on some level in that, like... I do find it kind of interesting for the characters to start being proactive about the password hunting and trying to figure them out in advance. That doesn't necessarily make sense because they don't actually... They don't remember the bad ends in their entirety, they just get a vague vision and, none of, and that vision never seems to include the actual answer of how they gained the password, which means that they can't really be learning more about how to get passwords. Uh, 
guessing Massacre was particularly weird because it was just like oddly telegraphed, but at least in this in this case, uh, Thanatos is literally just coming in and just like telling us to figure out, just fucking figure out the password, Dave. Just go with these people, figure it out, God damn it. And then you can in fact figure out the password intuitively based on that prompt. And so on the, some level there's like an element of like, it's like an arc of like, being instead of passively having them happen at you and then getting them from the bad ending and then and not ever being proactive at anything you're kind of being proactive about 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 werewolf but my problem with that approach is that between massacre and werewolf like it's actually really unsatisfying narratively to figure out the password to a to a bad end you haven't experienced because like you want to experience the bad endings because that's like the spicy part of the narrative. Otherwise, you just keep playing a game where, it's, where nothing happens for days and days and days. And then the moment you're worried something might happen, you just figure out the password in advance and stop it from happening da literally days before it even starts to happen. So them encouraging you to get the passwords in advance encourages the narrative to be as boring as possible because it's not replaced with anything that's especially engaging in the meantime when you're like have this looming promise of a thing so it puts you in this awkward place where it's like you congratulations you figured out the password but like if you want to have the optimum experience you should ignore the password that you figured out and then play the bad end anyway where everyone's calling you dumb for not figuring it out and it's like i warned you why didn't you figure out the password and it's like i, I didn't figure out the password because i did figure out the password but it, it feels like i get a better experience if i ignore that fact and get the bad end anyway and then go back to use the password so at that point it feels like the password still might as well be in the bad end uh it's just a weird it's a very strange format to navigate <laughs> But yeah, at some point it would be helpful if, like, if Oz just explained passwords to us, like, akin to how, like, Zero Three explains the Nonary game to us, or the Decision game, I guess it was called, uh, like, Oz could just actually explain in concrete terms earlier in the game how the passwords work, that, like, you have this traumatic experience in another timeline, and if you can find what the most important word was, like what the, that, that resonates with that timeline, then you can prevent it and so on. Or just some kind of actual prompt because what actually happens is you get a bad ending and then you just spoon fed a caps lock word, which tells you that passwords exist, which is which you kind of knew because there was already an entry field and the game's called Password, but it doesn't teach you how to look for them. And it gives you negative information about how to look for them because it gives you a caps lock thing. So you're like, oh, we're just waiting for the password to show up again. So like early on, somebody commented that they're like, I'm 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 surprised you guys don't like, uh, you guys don't theorize about what the passwords could be during our first interactions with the doors. And I'm like, we have no, at that point we have no reason to think we could know the passwords. The game yeah, is, there's no information. Either either the game had given us no information at all about passwords, or eventually it gave us our first password in the form of just feeding it to us in a way where we don't you don't have to think about it or learn it. Yeah, which then conditions you to still not be looking for like, passwords. So I mean, the, the other thing, the other thing no, with that we have no too, framework with which to theorize. Yeah, the other thing with that too is that people think that just because we didn't put a password in, that we weren't wondering what the password it was. I I had thoughts about what the password could be. I didn't want to put them in because I don't have the information to action them. And if we did somehow guess the password, that then sets up a pattern that was derived by me, myself, rather than the game. And we might miss content or misunderstand what the rules are. So it's like, it's just, a, it's just bad. It's just bad. It's, it's a bad discourse around how the game is structured. The point is, is that it's not consistent. It's not consistent with how it delivers passwords or how it wants us to engage with them, and that is a flaw. Objectively, that's a problem. It's one of those things where, like, it would be... Like, obviously, we, we figured it out eventually, but, like, kind of through brute forcing, going through their things, like... It stood out to me that people are like, why are you going to other timelines to figure out the password? I'm like, why would we not think that's the, how you find the password? Like, maybe it was hidden in one of the many options. Like, that's playful. It could be somewhere else in the other routes or something. But we're supposed to have learned that they're definitely in the bad ending at that point. 
but then the format is broken immediately after that anyway. So it's like, is that what we were supposed to learn? But we've, <laughs> we've been down this route, though. We both looked at Thanatos, who seemed to chuckle at the idea, but all I could think about was just how much the word, the word stuck out. Orlando would have been terrified in his final moments, assuming he wasn't caught off guard, all the things considered. You could just stop the sentence before that part. <laughs> uh, no. He was my brother. It's is is my brother. He's... I found myself scowling at Thanatos, who still seemed proud of himself. He didn't even make a move when I grabbed him and gripped tight. This is your fault. Give them back to me. No. Because I'm not a time machine. The scowl turned into a snarl, grip getting tighter, though he didn't seem to register anything wrong. What's he gonna do, Dave? I don't think taking it out on him is gonna help. I don't know, squish the rat, dude. <laughs> it might make you feel better. Might make me feel better? <laughs> yeah, sure it will. I it's not to even shake. really death when you think about it. He's not, he has no free will he's not, and he's not he's even not, alive. He's not even alive. I started to shake him violently, then gripped his head tight. Oi. I started to twist, but Thanatos seemed to object. <laughs> Please stop killing me. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just one of those sentences that could have started it'd be really grim if it stopped the sentence just stopped sooner like I started to twist like it's this grim moment of like is Dave really gonna do it but but Thanatos seemed to object is a baffling thing to add like I can't believe this rat was like is like reacting negatively to me actively trying to pop its head off what what is that even what does that narration teach us about Dave that he doesn't con that he never considered the idea? Like, I don't know what to do with that <laughs> sentence. It's so funny. This game makes me need to pee. That's oh, that's not unusual. I will be right back. <laughs> he actually needs to pee. Fine. We'll play her off. <laughs> this is when he goes to bite Dave and Dave just pops his head off. <laughs> I dropped him the moment something high-pitched hit my ears. It hurt, and I found myself rearing back to scream in pain. It never came, though. My voice catching in my throat as I heard something fall to the ground and then me falling to the side. What does this mean? <laughs> the day changed. <laughs> my head was swimming. It was a dull pain that seemed to throb insistently, but not bad enough to be inconvenient, just annoying. Ow. A day is starting at the pool? I squinted as the sun shone down on me, warm and bright. Oh, this isn't real. You just gonna sunbake all day or get in the water? The sheath outline is just so distracting. It's so much. It's so <laughs> it's, much that he's drawn very, that way. Uh, yeah, it's very obviously pornography. Yeah, no, it's... <laughs> it's it's so much how they've drawn Tyson. I actually, I, I checked the crotches of different characters for normal reasons throughout the game. And some of them have, like, the opposite of a bulge. Like particularly, like there's the there's the distinction of like how they cho choose to draw like the thigh gap like ceiling and how like whether it's concave or convex and so on. Uh, and there's some characters that seem to have just almost nothing going on, or they're just sometimes it's actually a little confusing how they're drawn. We're like, I'm not sure what's going on there at all. But Tyson has a, like a an up pointing giant sheath that pushes out his entire pants and is shaded distinctly so that you can separately see the sheath and the balls as d distinct objects and you have like a d you have a 3d image of what's going on here that is like actively like 
this must be distracting in real life. <laughs> like, when he's just walking yeah. around, that this is how his clothes fit. It's, a, it's so much. He looks like he's wa walking around in, in, like, pouched pants. Yes. <laughs> huh? Shit, we must have been roughhousing harder than I thought. Wait, what? He gave me a funny look before calling someone over. His voice seemed so far away, garbled by something, but no one else seemed to notice. Told you not to be so rough with him. Sorry? You're just lucky Dean trusted your word that he'd be alright. Yeah, yeah, I'll get his boyfriend back to him in one piece. Oh no, it's all the things that have died. Tyson, Orlando, Dean's love. <laughs> <laughs> Boyfriend? Dave? Are you sure you're okay? I... Why are we at the pool? Weren't you two... Dean wandered over, feeling heavy, and looking me over with a frown. Want me to get them to leave you alone? No, Go it's, away, Dean. it's fine. I want you to leave but... me alone. <laughs> Ty threw up his hands, shaking his head. We're leaving. Dean's been going on about your one week anniversary all morning already. One week? With the one week anniversary of going on one date? What the an anniversary of what? Did they get married here? Or what? I was cut off suddenly with everything fading to black. Even the sound stopped, and I strained my ears to try to catch the sound of anything that might clue me into what was going on. My heart sank when the water mill came into view. Go apologize. To Jack? Dave, are you alright? Huh? See, he's fine. You shouldn't throw fruit around so carelessly. Yeah, stop throwing Dave around. <laughs> the fruit? Started it. That did not. Discord hated that. Hot started it. <laughs> Good enough. Okay. I, it doesn't like. Yeah, Discord's fighting this. <laughs> I looked to the side and saw an apple with a large bite taken out of it. The side of my head felt sticky, smelled slightly sweet, and I stumbled to my feet, embracing the tree. Bracing on the tree. They came closer and I looked between them and the water mill, worried. Sorry for accidentally hitting you in the head with my apple, Dave. It's fine, but the water mill... Kind of spooky, huh? Saying there's a bunch of machinery down there. I... What? When? Maybe I hit you harder than I thought. Were you expecting a second Isaac Newton? Invent. Wake up, bro. What what do you what do you mean 911? It's 1999 and we're all playing Ocarina of Time on the N64. <laughs> <laughs> that's is that what this is trying to set up cuz I'm losing the, my mind. That's the vibe we're in. Yeah, like we woke up and like Jack never happened and we're just hanging out at the windmill, watermill. Guys, listen, we need to get away from here. There are bad people in the mill. Tyson and Orlando are probably in trouble and the funny looks they were giving me made me stop before they locked. They looked at each other in confusion. Don't know what's going on with Orlando, but he's a bit far to really know for sure, right? And Tyson's probably got his hands full with De Dean's sprained ankle, but you seem happy that he pulled the short straw earlier.
You said before, when you went running in there, that the place was abandoned. No one around for miles. But that doesn't... I didn't understand. This was wrong. Something was going wrong with my head. It had to be. In the dark, I could hear that familiar laugh. A low humming sound of machinery. The cold green, the color green, and then... I was whipped across the face when Thanatos's tail, uh, with Thanatos' tail and yelped. But he seemed convinced I was awake now. What was that for? Morning to you too, sunshine. Sitting up, I found I was in bed. Someone that didn't line up to what I remembered to be the case, but I kept quiet this time, giving the rat sitting on my bed a look. You getting up or what? Why? Well, let me think about that for a second. Things went to hell last night, or do you not remember? My eyes were sunken, and I didn't know what to believe. Part of me refused to believe certain things, and my dreams weren't helping. You're out of it more than normal. <laughs> Those people died. I grunted and looked down at my hand. The unmistakable traces of blood that I hadn't been able to scrub clean were as plain to see, and my eyes widened in fear that the reality I found myself in was the one I wanted the least. <laughs> How did I get into bed? Dean came back and found you two passed out on the floor, put you in bed and then took Roswell somewhere. Oh. My eyes were still on my hand, and it began to shake. It was real. Tyson and Orlando were dead. No, it... They can't be. They... What? You're gonna go see for yourself. Where are the others? Downstairs. Okay. I got dressed and made my way downstairs, staring at the discoloration on my hand all the while. As much as I refused to believe the truth, the scent of Orlando lingered on my hand from his blood. Mm -hmm.